everyone, this is Sam for developerbackpack.com. In today's episode of Refactoring Ideas, we're looking at the pull-up field refactoring. Now this is a pretty common refactoring which is used to move fields around the inheritance chain. So let's take a look. All right, so in Visual Studio, I have two classes. And maybe to better illustrate this, I'll show you this diagram. These two classes, the checking account and savings account, all inherit from this abstract class. Let's go back to code. So each class, which inherits from the account class, has a field. In the case of the checking account, it is minimum checking balance, which is set to 5. And the minimum saving balance is the field, which is in the savings account. So you can clearly see that there's a duplication of logic here which we can refactor so what I'm going to do here is to move these fields and I will simply declare a new field called private decimal if I can type and then I'll set the default value to the same thing and now I can actually get rid of these two. Um, so what this does is that it produces duplication in two ways. So the first way is by removing the duplicate data which we had in both of these classes, that is the checking account and the savings account. And then it also allows you to move that field into the <coughs> account class. Uh, which has now only one place where the minimum balance is declared, less code, less maintenance. You get the idea. Um, so that's it. You know, the pull-up field refactoring is very simple, but it can be very effective if you have a, you know, more complicated or more complex um, hierarchy of inheritance across your classes.